So last night, I got to finish season one of Game of Thrones that I had started watching recently about possibly a week ago, and um, my thoughts? What the f***? Hello everyone, welcome back to another review on the channel. So as you've read the title, yeah, I, I, <laughs> I am, I'm a new comer, have I, have I, is that the right word? Still though, I'm basically a new, I don't, I can't find the right word, basically uh, I'm new to Game of Thrones because I did not check it out when it came out for obvious reasons because uh, it came out in 2011. How old would I be by then? Oh, let's see if I remember correctly. Actually, hold on a sec. Uh, seven, eight, nine, ten, nine, nine, nine. I would be five years old, which means I would not be allowed to watch it. And I would probably have nightmares as a kid. So, And besides, even though I would not be allowed to watch it because I was not old enough, I had no interest of ever checking this out. Just wasn't my taste of shows, just, you know, never caught my interest in all that, but just still, yeah, I, but just, you know, I, I, I mean, I had it all written down since I took notes last night, because notes kind of helped me out with these types of reviews, because I feel like I suck at doing them, but just, um, so let's talk about my thoughts with Game of Thrones, since I just pretty much have watched it for the first time. All right, I have to interrupt the review a little bit, uh, this is something I forgot to mention, so, uh, before I continue watching the rest of the series, here's what I had tweeted out for my thoughts on, I guess, the first two episodes. I also made a TikTok about it, but for here's my uh, tweet that I made on Twitter about my thoughts with the first two episodes of Game of Thrones, and here's the TikTok about my thoughts for the first two episodes. Anyways, well, by the, now you can enjoy. <laughs> I've heard about this series a while ago. I've been aware about it being super popular. And like I said earlier, I had no interest in checking it out whether I was old enough to check it out or not, which wouldn't matter because I would have been five years old, which I'd mentioned earlier, but still though, just just never caught my taste. It just wasn't the type of show I was interested in. And that's just all I know. What I do know is how the fans were just pissed with how it ended. And sadly, I kinda know how it ended. Because I kind of saw a little bit of spoilers, because just you know, there's just spoilers all over YouTube, and I'm like, okay, let's let's check this out, because I didn't give a crap about it. I'm probably going to give a crap about it, but we shall see, because uh, I'm finished one season, and I now have seven more to go. So yeah, like I said, I know how it ends, just a bit out of context, but after watching season one, the show is really good, but freaking gruesome. Like, oh my god, what the fuck did I just watch? Not gonna lie, this show is honestly as good as Stranger Things. Hell, most of the episodes are about an hour long. Basically the same runtime for all episodes for Stranger Things 4. Still, with that being said, we, why did I decide to start watching Game of Thrones? I guess I have about three reasons. Since the new show House of the Dragon is out on HBO Max, I figured I'd get to know Game of Thrones a little bit, have appreciation for the series. Second reason would be my mom, since she started watching it a while ago, I figured, screw it, why not? Check it out, just send, which comes to my, just, that would actually, another thing about it, the second and third reason are technically the same reason, since my mom was checking it out, I figured, you know what, screw it, about, I, fig I figured that I'd check this out as well, but I would like to say it's because of reason number one, let's just say it was because of reason number one. Hi, uh, future me editing this video, uh, apparently in bed, because I'm a bit tired, just, that, that's the point, point is that. Uh, actually, I've now the thing, but I pretty much have three reasons, and that those two reasons I explained would just, just let me explain. So first would be, uh, because House of the Dragon was coming out, then second, my mom was checking it out, and then third, I was planning on checking it out, which, I guess it was inevitable. I, and by that, I mean, I guess it was inevitable that I would check this out somehow. Anyway, I just wanted to clarify that. Anyways, you can now watch the review. Since the show is out, I figured, you know what, screw it, why not? I'm kind of old enough to be watching these types of shows. Sort of. Anyways, back to the thing right here. But yeah, like I said earlier, uh, the second reason and third reason would pretty much be the same reason, because my mom was checking out, I figured, screw it, why not? Plus, I was kind of planning on checking this out somehow, but yeah, I figured, screw it. Let's watch Game of Thrones. Now, I got some nitpicks for the show so far, and that would depend what it is, and I would name a few. Like, there were some scenes that really disturbed me or bugged me, 
But even though I got some nitpicks with season one, I was I was entertained from start to finish. Now there was a lot going on, which was pretty hard for me to understand what the flip was going on, and I only understood like seventy five to ninety percent of what was going on. And I got I got some questions on some some bits here and there, I guess. But I did enjoy some or almost all of the characters in season one, especially the Starks, or in other words, Jon Snow. I can now see how he's a fan favorite. But if anything. I think I enjoyed the Imp a lot more, and that would be uh, Tyron Lannister. I don't know if I got his name correctly, which I, I'm, I'm probably going to feel guilty. I have I have an issue. I have trouble pronouncing names, but still, though, just so, yeah, and I and I have looked all over social media, and uh, it looks like I'm, I'm not the only person, because pretty much, like, say, like, and I looked at a list from IGN, and basically the number one fan favorite character for Game of Thrones is literally uh, Ty Tyron Lannister. Incorrect. But speaking about the Lancers, I hate them. Especially Joffrey, who I want to be dead. Now, as much as I don't like seeing kids slash teenagers die on screen, I could care less if he die, because the dude is an absolute prick. Especially to what god-awful things he's done to Sasha Stark. Anyways, back to me liking characters. I freaking love the friendship between John and Sam. Like, when they were talking about girls and how John had almost lost his virginity, I had just had a big dumb smile on my face, not only because it was funny, but I just, I was just loving the friendship that they had for each other. But if they kill off Sam in the next couple of episodes or seasons, I'm going to be freaking pissed, because I'm already pissed with how season one had just ended. This season had great characters, unexpected twists and turns, and a freaking awesome intro, which I am obsessed with. And honestly, I could listen to it on a freaking loop. <laughs> That being said, season one was a pretty good season. Even though it was gruesome, I was entertained, and I'm intrigued to see what happens next in season two. But for my rating for season one of Game of Thrones, it's gonna be an eight out of ten. I could I can now see how the show was pretty popular back then and why everyone's obsessed with it. Because literally, like I like as I mean it when I say this, it is like Game of Thrones is just one of those shows, like similar to Stranger Things. Like basically, what Stranger Things and Game of Thrones have in common, and that is best TV shows of history of TV shows. Okay, time to talk some spoilers. So from what my mom has told me, there's blood and death everywhere, siblings banging each other, and uh, lots of messed up stuff she has told me. Now, not gonna lie, even though it's gruesome but still good, it's a pretty messed up show, cause holy sh**, what did I just watch? I mean, obviously it is rated TV MA for violence, language, sexual content, and nudity, especially those last two details I mentioned. Cause there's lots of those two in season one. I was surprised to see Jamie Lannister just bang up his own sister, which what the fuck, by the way. But what made me shocked as hell was when he pushed off Bran off the freaking tower, and I was scared to death that the kid died, which thank God he didn't, but sadly he can't walk. But no joke, literally, as I was on my bed, I see him just, I, I, he, as soon as he pushes him, I'm like, oh no! Oh my god! Also, not gonna lie, I'm not too much of a fan of King Robert, because he's kind of a jerk, but... At least he wasn't a bad guy, but this show does, does do a great job on who you should like and dislike. And I know that I hate Joffrey for a sh ton of reasons, because that kid needs to die for trying to kill Arya. I don't know if I got her name correctly. While swaying the sword, being ground gang, killing Ned Stark when Sasha asked for mercy and made her look at her dead father's head. And what's also messed up, it gives him... Pleasure. What the f Like, this dude is wicked. Like, he is messed up on so many levels. Like, this just... It just did not sit right with me on so many levels. I was so freaking pissed. Like, I just feel so bad for, Sa for Sasha now. Like, just... Like, she even fades it when she witnessed her dad just get beheaded. Like, oh my... Oh my god. I want this... I want this kid dead by next season. And if he's still alive, like, just... He's probably gonna die in the next couple of seasons. I don't know. I mean, I would... I would like to know, but... I would like not to know, because, uh, spoilers, I'm not a fan of them. So, I suggest not spoiling anything. Even though I know how it ends, doesn't matter, because I, I, I know how it ends just out of context. But seriously, though, this kid is a horrible person and needs to die. Same goes for the rest of the Lannisters, except for Tyron. But speaking about Ned Stark, I am mad as hell, because, honestly, I saw it coming. I had a feeling that he was going to die, and I freaking called it, like, I, I, like he's... 
I seriously love Ned Stark in here. Why did they have to kill him off? Like, for real, I'm, not, I'm, I'm just not okay with that. Now, I'll be honest. I was kind of underwhelmed with how Season 1 ended because it left off in a cliffhanger. Another thing I saw coming was how it was going to end exactly. And that was when Emily Clark's character would not be burnt but naked, holding three baby dragons, and boom, that's the end of Season 1. And it would make sense, because I think I saw a clip of that Some I, I don't know. I don't know. Like, just... I feel, I, I feel like I've seen some clips on some of these seasons, because, like I said, I didn't care much about checking this out, so I didn't care if I, like, get spoiled for this, because I wasn't planning on checking it out. Well, uh, if I invented a time machine and let myself know that don't watch any of these clips, because you do want to know what happens, you're going to be watching this, like, you, you get what I mean. But yeah, the main reason I know that is because I saw bits of spoilers for Game of Thrones back then when I wasn't interested. And I definitely know where this whole series ends, and I look forward to Season 8 on how it pissed off so many Game of Thrones fans. No, honestly, I thought Emily Clark's character was the main character for Game of Thrones, but honestly, I don't know who's the main character for Game of Thrones, and that's why I can kind of compare it to Stranger Things, because here's what they both have in common, besides them being awesome shows and just greatest television series in the history of TV shows. Most of the characters are like main characters in the series, especially with how many storylines or plot holes or plot lines they got going on in each episode. Still, I'm not a nitpick, just hard to keep track with everything going on, but I would like to think that season one was more focused on the Stark family and that the next couple of seasons will be mo most likely focused on them, but we shall see in season two because the whole family is sadly split up and I'm not okay with that. But that being said, those are just my thoughts with season one of Game of Thrones. Um, yeah, uh, it's a pretty messed up show, but also gruesome, but it's still it's still good. I can now see why why many people love it so much, but my god, it's legit super messed up. So, I look forward to season two, in which I'm probably going to have to pause watching at the moment. Now, I would if I wanted to watch it right away, I probably would be done with the entire series between 20... Not 20, no, I want, let me rephrase that, between probably September and October, but still though, I think it's best if I just take a break right now, after just, uh, just a lot to process, but I'm going to be watching season two, let's just hope it doesn't take a long time, because I would like to see what happens next, but I gotta give myself a break, so I'll probably give myself a week, actually a week or two, just, I'll probably give myself two weeks of a break, unless I cave in, but we shall see, but anyway, so yeah, I guess I would do a series review, which I'll probably do, but... Screw it, I'm just going to review each season, since I finished one, now i got to review seven more to go. Did I say that correctly? Anyways, with that being said, I hope you look forward to my season two review by the time I finish watching season two, but if you have seen it, be sure to let me know your thoughts, comments down below, and uh, yeah, if you're new, feel free to subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss a review, or any other video on the channel, and uh, feel free to like this video. As always, I'll see you guys in the next video, or the next review. Peace out.